There was a buzz in the air in the town of Grosily on Friday, May 12, as the Grosily Public Library was reopened. The institution had been closed to the public for a three-year period, during which much needed repairs were done. The reopening comes against the backdrop of Reading Month, which is celebrated locally during May. MP for Grosile, Honorable Kenton Kasime, indicated that he has been pushing for this latest development since he came into office. He indicated that the library provides an institution where minds, regardless of their age, can be fostered for the betterment of the community. Becoming parliamentary rep for Grosile, it really was important for me to ensure that any pressure that needed to be applied would be applied to ensure that today we can reopen the Grosile Library. And I have to hasten to say that in every communication and conversation I had with the Minister of Education, he assured me that this day would come sooner than later. As parliamentary representative for Grosile, I would like to say congratulations to the Ministry of Education in terms of library services for championing the cause for ensuring that we have this facility. Of course, it's twice or three times the size of what it used to be when I was growing up, and we certainly hope that the generations to come will use it to the best of their abilities as me, as parliamentary rep and my team, seek to, to implement different services, different programs to further develop not just the school students, but the elderly as well. Minister for Education Honorable Sean Edward indicated that the reopening of the library provides a resource centre where the distribution of information can be championed. In the 21st century, we all recognise that libraries are far more than a mere collection of books. They are dynamic community hubs where information is accessible to all residents of the community, regardless of age, background, or socio-economic status. Libraries play an indispensable role in our society, serving as gateways to education, fostering a love for reading, and nurturing the inquisitive minds and curiosities of our young people. The reopening of this library in particular in Grosile today is extremely significant. It is here that community members, from the youngest child to the elderly can find the resources that inspire, educate, and empower them. Facilitators are optimistic that the reopening of the beloved community staple will reignite a sense of wonder in residents of Grosile. For Choice News Now, I am Quinn Sejis.